Um, now, what, what else, what's going on? What's going on? What's going down? All right, so we've got a bridge now. So let's, let's build a bridge. Let's make a bridge just here. Just Because that means I can claim the land around it. I don't really see the point in it in this, but it just means you can build stuff on it, I think. I guess it's the point. So you can build traps and stuff on it. So let's go this way. To get multiple, I thought one that big would have made two two coops, but I guess not. I guess not. I'm not sure if this library is big enough. They don't seem to be complaining though. Right, I say we start building some traps and stuff. So if you click here, the traps will always always be completely available to you. You can click um, workshop items. Now I'm just going to build some wooden wooden doors because I don't see the point. Other than maybe around my dungeon heart, I don't really see the point in making um, um, like traps and stuff here. A new spell has been researched. Sight of evil. What's sight of evil doing? Oh, sight of evil lets you view into unexplored territory, which is grand. And I just realised that my creatures are currently claiming everything. So you see, here's some lava. Here's a big lump of gold. This is where these guys are. So if I built a bridge or something across to there and opened it up, they could start off coming in um, in waves and I could train my creatures. But like I said, I don't really see the point in Pet Dungeon of doing that because that's not really the objective. The objective is to amass points. I get. I, I guess fighting probably does actually give you some points, but I don't know. I've, I've always done it without doing that, so I don't think it's necessary. Actually, our points are quite low. We're only 1,500. I would have thought we would have amassed some more than that by now but we'll build some doors and hopefully that will make the place look a bit nicer see my portals have now attracted as many creatures of the, as they can so they're basically no more creatures can come through these the only way more creatures could come through these portals is if some of my current creatures left but we don't want that because it means they're unhappy so that's why i'm going to build this way a wooden door has been created in your workshop uh, so we can open up a portal now when a door is created this little box here I'm going to make some more imps, actually. And, um... Imps have to go pick it up and put them in place. There we go. So look, got a door. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. So I think I probably am going to build some secret doors around my... Um... Around my dungeon heart and dungeon entrances, I think. Because that, that's just the way I do it. Personally. Cost me payday again as well? Bloody hell. Gonna be. Gonna be screwed and have no money. I'll get this water again. Oh! So they will keep mining. Hello? A wooden door. Let's put these secret doors in. Not expensive, but frickin'. I like being over the dungeon heart because you can hear the like the boom 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 sound. It's really cool. New spell. What spell have we got? Call to arms. Oh, that's good. Basically, um, that's what it says on the tin. Essentially, you can, um, you can um call your creature to a particular spot to fight. These are all your spells, by the way. The books that hover above the podiums are your spells. <laughs> Cheeky. Prison. Our prisons are great, actually. That probably will... Actually, that is probably one of the few reasons why I might fight some heroes, is that you can get them in your prison and they will change into skeletons, which is another... They're, they're like... Um, um, they're very vicious fighters. They're actually really useful. But they are... Um, they don't tend to... I think your other creatures have like a sense of judgement towards what they can take on and what they can't, where skeletons don't have that, so they will just run into fights where you're like, what are you doing? You're going to get yourself killed. And they will. And then, they like, like I said, they can't walk in through your portals, you have to basically make them. It's the same with uh, vampires. When you have a graveyard, you can, if you, someone dies in, um, if someone dies in your prison, they become a skeleton, but if they die outside your prison, but they were an enemy, you can get your um, imps to carry it to the graveyard. And in some circumstances, it will rise again as a vampire. So it's cool. It's very good. The ultimate creature in this game, by the way, is the Dark Angel. Um, who you get when you build the temple. But that's much later in the game. Although, we're getting through pretty quick, actually, this one. 
quite impressed. Go check the time. I'm so sorry. I'm going to. Oh, my phone's all the way over there. Never mind. Going out for lunch with the dad. So, um. So I must keep an eye on the time. So I may have to leave you guys before this part is. Before I finish this pet dungeon. My library's too small. Right. Right, okay. It was. Um, why is it telling me about the tremor trap? Oh, there's a spell. I'm sorry. Let's build this bit then. God, my imps have got their work cut out for them, haven't they? So I think. Is this portal claimed? Can I make the presumption it is? I think I'm going to have to wait till the next payday before I build anything else. Just to see how much cash I've got left over. Oh! Talk to Chambers next. That's great fun. I'm just going to save again. Like I said, it's a bit hairy because I, you know, this game does crash an awful lot. Do you know, I think, I think what actually is making my game flicker more is having fraps on. I think if I turn fraps off, it like recording off, it doesn't do it. There's nothing I could do about that. I'm so sorry. I, I do apologise. God, look at them all in there. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the library, you dicks. Just complain to me the library's too small. Building it bigger, you're not in there. Although I haven't actually got around to building it yet. Where the hell are you going? A salamander. Build some more bridges out, actually. Are you kidding me? Uh, hasn't been claimed yet. Claim the pool. Yes. God, look how much money! Oh my god. Running a dungeon spent some shit. God. Lovely. Are they still mining that one at the other end? I think they're wasting the time there at the minute. I've got, I've got. There's more important stuff for you guys to do. It is payday. I know. Oh god, they do get paid. Look at them. Oh no, I think they're dropping it off actually. Oh, bile demon. Where's the bile demon? I'll show you the bile demon. He's really creepy looking. There. Look at the state of that. I can pick him up actually. Ugh. Oh, he's grim. Look at this little guy. Look at him go. Look at him! Claiming my land. Oh, my secret doors have been built. Oh, cool. That means I'm not waiting anything in the workshop. Maybe I'll build something else. Let's build a secret door here. Uh, with a magic door straight after it, so if they do get through. Got another one. Bloody hell. Right. One there. Uh, magic door. Is there? Magic door is basically um, your creature's leg just there. Thank you. Um, yeah, the magic door just basically fires like spells and st stuff at, um, at the um, enemies if they try to uh, get in. So basically, if they break through my secret door, they're then going to deal with the magic door. And I will definitely have an alarm bells. This is the alarm spell. Oh, sorry, trap. Sorry, sorry. Um, all around here, so I know when they're coming. That's a call to arms point. Oh, guard post. There you go. So you can actually. The guard post is sort of like where you can. I think when you build a guard room, you can sort of set. You know. Um, actually, let's build a guard room. Build one here. No, a bit bigger here. Let's do that. <laughs> so I would like some dark elves before my portals run out. You can actually send creatures back as well, but you can just pick them up and drop them in the portal if you, if you don't want to. Oh, torture chamber, yes! I love the torture chamber, because I love the mistresses. Oh, we can build a library book as well. There we go. Here we go. Hooray for the nerds. Right. Lovely. Stuff's coming out quite well, actually, isn't it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a few more. I'm going to make a few more imps, I think. I'm going to set them to, to do... Hey. No. Good. Because I do need a bit more cash off that payday. Just completely rinsed me. I think I might build this one down. Too big down here. Oh, well. Magic door. 
I don't tend to put doors on my guard room so they can get out quickly, but... Oh, for goodness sake. So basically I just attracted a load of bar demons from that one and nothing else. Well, let's get to... I'll, t I'll tell you what, let's get some rooms built and then we'll get the next portal so that we can definitely get some mistresses and some dark elves and things like that. Because I probably should have built this and then got some dark elves out of this one, but we've got two more portals to go, I think. Gotta definitely get our sub objectives. 28! God, we're doing well. Just slaps around the people. Oh, he's asleep. It's not very fair, is it? Don't slap a man when he's sleeping. Come on. Guard room. Lovely. That's probably a bit big. Probably don't need it to be quite big. But oh well! There we go. Guard room. Well, looks good. Looks good. Looking nice. Right, cool. So. Let's build a prison and torch chamber. I don't know where we should put them actually. You'd probably put them next to each other. I guess they'd fit here. Don't know if I feel comfortable with a prison being next to the. Well, I guess the torch chamber being next to the bedroom is not too bad. Oh god, why am I, why am I thinking about this so much? Let's build the bloody thing. Okay. Prisons need to be that big. Oh. Oh, actually, no, it no, yeah, no, it probably does actually. Now I think about it, because because they they always have like a square around the outside, a square block of space, and then they have the the prison in the middle. So if you don't build it big enough, you don't really get a proper prison out of it. <laughs> yeah. right, let's build these. So actually, we're doing quite well for money because we've got the gem stem, gem stems, gem stems, gem thingies. I don't know what you call them, though. I keep forgetting. Right. Doing all right. We're doing all right. Let's actually make a few more imps, I think. Oh, for goodness sake. You can only do your spells on, like, claimed land, which is stuff with these tiles on. If you try to do it on random stuff, you can't. You can't cast spells. Because it's not yours, essentially. So you have to do it within your... what, what you own. Oh. Oh. I'm going to turn turn this off. This gets very annoying after a while because when they don't have anything to do they just come and do that and then when they have another job to do they don't actually come away from it so you have to kind of keep turning it off. Oh what's this? Temporary illusion. Oh there we go. So that new spell makes enemies attack their own kind which is great. Exactly what we want. Alright cool. Talk to Jamie. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's good. I want them to kind of get the walls done because it's worth it in the torture chamber because you get things like you get extra torture things on the walls as well. Whereas in most other rooms, it just sort of doesn't matter. But um, oh, I think my tummy just went. I think my tummy just like gurgled and it came out through my face. <laughs> that's gross. That is not fun. And this is the same thing like prison bolt. That means it keeps them in. Prisoning off. Oh no, it means that it it stops them from throwing enemies in the prison. So, for example, if you wanted to make vampires, you want to turn imprisoning off so that they just kill them and leave them and then take them to the graveyard. If you leave imprisoning on, they'll take them while they're still alive and um, put them in the prison. So, it just depends on, basically, if you want skeletons or um, or um, vampires. Oh, we've got any... Because he has no work to do. What? what do you mean he's got no work to do? I've, st I've still got two spells to to find out. Where is he? Let's find him. The best way to do this, it's a bit cheeky really, is just to give him more, some more money. And he kind of shut... Oh, okay, maybe he doesn't shut up. Never mind, I thought maybe you could shut him up, but I guess not. Right, so we've built this. Lovely. So, um, I am going to put a door. Mm, I'm going to put some brace doors on these. There we go. Right, I think we should start finding the next portal. Now there's two ways we can go about it. We can go around here. Actually, I am going to do this because I've just realised the severe lack of cash I have and um, 
And uh, yes, I've got um, a payday coming up worryingly soon, so let's just do this. Oh, uh, the casino is the next room to come up, which is pretty good. Let's have our next payday, I think, and then bring the next creatures in, because I'm not sure, but I think even if the creatures haven't actually done any work, and they've only just arrived in the dungeon, they still... Oh, Christ, we need a bigger lair as well. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Does it say how much pay it's going to be? Oh, I hate that. Ugh. Just tell me what I owe. I put my casino. I put my casino here. Because I want quite a lot of space for my dark temple when it arrives, so I guess I'll put it here. very slow these imps can't get good work these days good help these days I'm so sorry make my hatchery bigger I think as well fifteen slaps to go I don't even know what we get rewarded actually I guess it's just some money Oh my word. Might be time to save again soon. Oh, what's this? A brace door has been created in your workshop. Lovely. That'll teach him. Oh look, got loads of cash now, that's good. Right, I'm gonna save quickly. No Oh we knew it was gonna happen though, didn't we?